This is a video that Linza Productions produced for the Boys and Girls Club of Worcester to promote awareness and solicit fundraising donations. For over a century, thousands of youth have walked through our doors looking for a safe place where they can be a kid. They rely on our staff to guide and mentor them, showing them the way to leading a meaningful life. The Boys and Girls Club movement was actually founded by four women in Hartford, Connecticut. And uh, it was during the time of the temperance movement in the 1860s. And they got a storefront and they wanted to, I guess their goal was to get men out of the bars. And men didn't come out of the bars, which isn't a surprise to a lot of folks. But who did come in were a lot of the, the, the boys who were living on the street. And just like today, I mean, they came in because there were people there who were kind, who loved them, they had food. Um, and there were so many, so many boys that came that uh, they eventually hired a guy named John Collins out of Yale. He's a fresh graduate. And he came in and he set down principles for boys and girls clubs that we still operate on today. Our three clubhouses, Maine South, Great Brook Valley, and Plumley Village, are located where we serve some of the city's most underprivileged kids. They're in danger of falling behind in school, dropping out, being targeted by gangs, and having poor health outcomes. To address these issues, our caring professional staff and volunteers provide programs that make a difference. College preparation. 97% of our 2013 high school graduates are currently attending college. Gang prevention and intervention. Hundreds of at-risk youth are receiving services that will get them on the right path and help them make healthy life choices. Job readiness. Our teens receive hands-on employment training so they're prepared to meet the demands of a global technological economy. Healthy habits. Members of all ages participate in our athletic, social recreation, drug and alcohol prevention, and anti-bullying programs, which help our kids grow strong and healthy in both mind and body. Kids Cafe. During the school year, approximately 250 kids every weeknight enjoy a family-style dinner to ensure they're receiving proper nutrition. If the club wasn't here, I wouldn't learn all the qualities in life that I would use towards college and my future. The club was the place that gave me my first job, and I still continue to come here and give back to them. This club made me said to myself, don't give up. I wasn't aware of what it is to have people around you who care, have people who actually support you in the decisions that you make. So in time, I became um, very comfortable and to this day, the club is still my family. The Boys and Girls Club saved my life. Uh, they were there for me during some very challenging times as a teenager. I'd like to assure that our club is there for the kids of our community for years to come. In order for us to continue to meet the growing needs of the kids, we must improve and enhance our programs, become financially stable, and preserve two of our most important resources, our caring professional staff and our flagship facility in Maine South. When you uh, take a look at the leadership in this community and see how many of those people are products of the Boys and Girls Club, it becomes very, very clear that the fabric of this community is largely woven on the looms of places like the Boys and Girls Club. The goal of our Foundation for the Future campaign is to raise $3.5 million to ensure that our club will be around for another century. The Foundation for the Future campaign really has three components. The Stability Fund will guarantee that even though our state may suffer through some economic challenges, we will still be here for our kids. The Building Maintenance Fund will assure that we can endure challenges that come up over the years, that we're here not just for the kids, but for the community for many years to come. We want to expand and enhance existing programs and retain our caring and professional staff. Our plans include renovation of the music room, upgrade technology at three club sites, equip and staff the Clark University's NCAA regulation field, expand job readiness training, outreach to youth at risk of joining gangs, develop and retain a talented staff. These are our children. These are Worcester's children, and what happens to our children really matters. The amount of kids who need the Boys and Girls Club is going up every year, and we really won't need to be able to respond. Our goal is to serve more kids more often by increasing the number of kids we serve on a daily basis from 320 to 550. To support the Foundation for the Future campaign, please contact Liz Hamilton, Assistant Executive Director at lhamilton at bgcworcester.org or 508-754-2686, extension 205. The investment in campaigns like this 
is not just an investment in strengthening the club, it's an investment in strengthening Worcester. You know, we've made a promise to the kids in this neighborhood, and we want to make sure that we're here for them. For more information about how Linzer Productions can help your company succeed with video, visit linzerproductions.com or call 508-545-2553.